Hello friends, welcome to this interview and today we have Mr. Mrityunjay Dvivedi. Mrityunjay is from Bhopal and now he has been selected as a design engineer. So there are so many success stories in our community. So first of all, congratulations Mrityunjay, you have achieved the success and now you have started your journey as a design engineer. How are you so now feeling? Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. It's a long journey for me because uh, this goal is uh, I have uh, pursued on my mind from uh, last uh, from last two years. I have uh, when I just uh, leaving my the previous job, just uh, that production job. I want to some take interest more own mechanical fields. Okay. So I keep in my mind that goal that uh, I want to grow up in a core mechanical field as a, as a design engineer. So I just uh, taken an admission in a MTech master master of technology course. Uh, the one thing is that there, because uh, right now I mean I belongs basically from uh, in uh, Manpur district Maria, but uh, I completed my education in Bhopal. Right. So there in Bhopal is a small community of mechanical engineers. There are not more industry as uh, like a Pune and Mumbai and metropolitan city. And uh, last uh, uh, December 2020. I get the contact. I got a contact from uh, ITE Pune just because I was joined any webinar. So I think is that that's a. Um, I think on that time uh, this is one is good for the platform to improve the skills because they are not only the expert in a modeling software. Mm -hmm. Modeling software is a different thing, but if you want to a design engineer, so you have to good visualization skill and core some subject like casting, manufacturing processes. You have to pursue in your mind too. So I think that this is what good for me. So I started this uh, course and uh, learn to more care modeling software and your uh, GDNT part two on that course. Okay, so which are the important skills you think they are required to become a good design engineer apart from CAD? Because yeah, many people, apart, the students, yeah. they have confusion that they think that uh, CAD means design. That is not true. So no. as per your opinion, means which are those important skills? According to me, if you want to really become a design engineer, so the one thing is that your visualization skill is so important. In your visualization skill, keep the already the come in front of you, like look like this, and side view look like this, and the um, top view look like this. In anything, you want to see if you uh, just going in any way and you see the some uh, good things, you just imagine your uh, you make a sketch in your mind too on this time to the front view like this and side view like this. It's a rough diagram, but it improve your design skill that time. So drawing so visualization, think, you think is the uh, next very, very important. important thing. Yeah, okay. very important. And the second thing is that your manufacturing knowledge is important. Right. Your manufacturing, which you uh, design the parts, so it will be a really manufacturer. So one thing is that if you want to become a design engineer, so you have to first understand the production part too. So if you work in a CNC, the, how to do the fillet. So if you understand the things, so you can you better become a design engineer. Right. It is very, uh, we can say encouraging thing that uh, our IT students are uh, helping our juniors. So uh, yeah, right, Pradeep sir. Bingare, uh, his contribution, we should uh, acknowledge him here. Yeah. And it is uh, a nice thing that uh, all our seniors are helping juniors. So Yeah, it's, it's so, so important, sir, because uh, Pradeep is uh, already, I have told something, uh, if anything, uh, if I feel any kind of doubt in AutoCAD, CAD, yes. So, so they can stay. You're very supportive, man. I have seen that, sir. Uh, because uh, in uh, right now, in this kind of situation so nobody's like that but Pradeep yeah this man I have seen the very good etiquettes. So here I would like to ask you some questions which were the questions uh, you were asked during interview so that our uh, audience uh, students they will understand that means how to prepare for this type of interview. So can you just tell us some uh, questions you were asked during interview? Uh, so actually yeah. Yeah, the, the how was the interview about, yeah. procedure? Means you can tell about that as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, interview procedure is uh, my I have done the walk-in interview, and that was the my uh, first round about the gender interaction round. 
so they understand about me i have they uh, they uh, some question asked about my own where i am where i am belongs from and all the and know about me say so they are normal question at the general interaction question they asked about me and if they come in a technical uh, so they ask some autocad and they getting some autocad knowledge uh, how much i want to know autocad so they want to know if we uh, trim command how to use the trim command so they ask like that the first question trim command and then they ask the how to use the extend command and mirror command what the mm-hmm. what the difference between the mirror command and uh, uh, copy like this all the command they right. copy modify command they ask they are very similar commands and there is a possibility of confusion yes yeah absolutely this uh, particular industry not to cad and uh, before some days i have experienced in a cat here so i think sir recalling is the most part if you work on it in any way software is doesn't matter but if you are going for the any interview so you have to practice on a 5 days before to particular this software right so you have understand better about right. this question so they first have to get some command modify command they asked and then asked they about the thermal uh, some process of thermal how many process in uh, thermodynamics about uh, gdnt part they asked him about the gdnt so they give some symbol to please make a how many gdnt symbol you know so i have seen uh, 14 symbols in gdnt so they told me sir please make a five symbol second thing is that the, how the major this particular you just uh, uh, make a flatness symbol so how to measure the flatness particular right so, so i think design engineer has to work on a drawing part then cad modeling software proficiency part then manufacturing processes how to measure means inspection all these things they were combined in yeah. interview uh, those were the uh, we can say expectations from that interview right yeah absolutely sir in our syllabus of course there are so many contents and uh, topics are there so within that which is that area you think that is uh, most useful for you especially for you is a catia course is a really benefit for me because in catia i am not good enough before so catia modeling course is i already benefited from this course and after that design mechanical design mastery course is most important for me so where i get the more knowledge about the how to read the particular uh, in drawing sheet in industrial drawing sheet mm. so the, the various symbol over there and it's a general practice where if you go to uh, any interview in a design so they will give a just if a small scale industry if i told so they give a sheet if you go in a production as well so they give a drawing sheet so tell me about the symbol and read the particular drawing sheet so if you able to read the drawing sheet um, in good way so it means that you have a knowledge about the things how to uh, how to uh, l- communicate the particular drawing right so you get the more knowledge so i think a gdnt part and the symbol you have to understand the things which right. is drawing sheet okay nice so if you understand the total overall growth of a design engineer it depends upon the drawing part manufacturing process part then mm-hmm. how to select the material gdnt part and cad software whether it's a 2d mm-hmm. or 3d that that you think yep. these are all important uh, aspects yeah absolutely and uh, as i started the journey from uh, this particular industry so uh, i understand that the, your knowledge is implemented uh, right now also is not uh, because knowledge is an, uh, not only the we have to take an just for the interview knowledge is a beyond for the interview you have to uh, improve yourself skills too so i have seen the most the part they are using for the which kind of a, a steel grades over there which kind of the material is using using for the uh, making of any wall so the all the things is related to the each other so if you get the knowledge about the some costing part too because here they are more must be, because here not only the roles and responsibility is a design engineer to you just uh, design a part whatever you mind if it's not like uh, if you want to design any part which which process which material you selected for what are costing about this material what impact right. of this if you manufacture this material so what the impact on the working procedure absolutely so, the, so it's also important like uh, if you making a like uh, any burner right so which kind of steels you are using over there right. if making a burner 
and uh, which have the what is the thermal coefficient of this particular so correct. all the technical things is important for you correct so nice. so I what is your uh, suggestion to the newcomers they want to start their journey as a design engineer so what is your advice to them yeah for my advice for the all the uh, youngest engineer who uh, really want to become a design design domain so first thing is that your first thing you want you have to go in a deep deep learning don't uh, learn like a my upper portion of any kind of things right. you have to want to become a design engineer so you have to go on a deep on a technical right. particular the things like a thermal uh, thermal processes you have to at least you have to solve the not i'm not even, uh, just insist you particular daily you can practice in whole day not but you have to knowledge about the uh, some numerical concept too because the numerical if you solve the thermal numerical if you solve the uh, strength of material numerical so numerical problem is a give the practical knowledge about the things so i think the calculation is more important for it if you work in a calculation and the some manufacturing knowledge and design knowledge and costing knowledge which material mm-hmm. using for the you have to know about the costing too so it's also important for the going design right so it's a blend of all these important topics because mm, these are yeah. the pillars of design yeah absolutely sir definitely and uh, your feedback about our mechanical design mastery course yeah i have learned more things from there because uh, it's uh, just like a, i i already told the reading skills about the how to read that particular sheet in uh, which kind of symbols over there in particular drawing sheet and gdnt part the i did the whole gdnt part i learned from you uh, in your in your uh, mechanical design mastery course so you have to know more about the thing and go in a deep way as you if you want to go in a flatness so you have to more know about the flatness what the difference for flatness how to measure the flatness and where is using for the flatness symbol mm-hmm. so go in a deep way particular if you want to really become a design engineer but if uh, so if you work over go on over there and you right. definitely you can achieve it so brutinjay the next journey next level what you have to achieve that you have to handle the projects independently then you have to be in a role of a project leader then manager then director of the company that is the uh, whole journey i can see you are going to definitely achieve all these things in your life yeah yeah uh friends if you are not subscribed our youtube channel please subscribe our youtube channel and if you want to understand how to start your career as a design engineer a link is given below click on the link and join our free session every sunday we have a free session for you so mrityanjay i wish you all the best for your future endeavor and uh, you i so hope much. you will achieve uh, next milestone that is independent handling of the project and becoming a good manager and then uh, handling the techno commercial things so thank, thank you, you so for much, joining sir. this session yes sir thank you so much sir you are a mentor for the each and everything for me right now so whatever i feel somewhere if i pro- get a problem so i definitely i will ask from you so definitely so, yeah. and it's a long association means uh, yeah, we so have so. thousands of students in our community and Uh, i see that long term journey because every saturday we our community is meeting in our master mind session and uh, we have students right from freshers design engineers up to general managers and industrialists and they are helping each other thank you mrutanjay really appreciate thank this thank you so much sir.